an old habit and an innovation. This is the mix for the start of the Vuelta 2017. For the eighth year in a row, a team time trial is on the menu of stage one. But for the first time, the Vuelta starts in France, in the historical city of Nîmes. Before the start, a tribute is held for the 14 victims of the Catalonia attacks on Thursday. At half past five, the race begins, and it's the Colombian team Manzana Postobon that has the privilege to open the stage. 13.7 kilometers lead through the city, with an ascent mid-track. Having an eye on the shape and performance of the favorites will certainly be more important than the time differences today. The first outsider to take the road is Rafael Maika, third here in 2015. Emmanuel Buchmann, 15th of the latest Tour de France, is also in his team Bora Hangroe. But it's a Belgian team that sets the first significant time. Team Quickstep with Daik de la Cruz, who briefly wore the red jersey last year, passes the finish line after 16 minutes and 4 seconds. Urban tracks offer a great show, but also ask for great technique. Darwin Atapuma comes to fall in the very first bend and slows down his team from the United Arab Emirates. Fabio Aru and his team Astana have difficulties and lose over 30 seconds on the opening stage of the Vuelta 2017. 15 teams will not be able to beat the time set by Team Quickstep, but the 16th will be stronger than the Belgians. Team BMC, winner of the team ranking last year with experienced riders like Caruso, Dennis and Van Garderen, prove their quality and take the lead. That's quite the challenge for Team Sky, winner of the team time trial last year with their star Chris Froome, who this year wants to go for the double after winning the Tour de France. But with the time measured only after the fifth team member passes the finish line, the British team needs to slow down on the finish and only place a third. Acclaimed like a hero, the three-time winner of the Vuelta, Alberto Contador, is the last to hit the road for the final race of his career. But his team comes in over 30 seconds after the winners of the day. He was already the first to wear the yellow jersey after a time trial on the Tour de France 2015. And Rohan Dennis repeats this on the 72nd Vuelta. The track specialist was the first to pass the finish line and was a driving force for the success of his team BMC, already winners of the time trial here in 2015. He's logically rewarded by his teammates Caruso and Van Garderen. The circuit was technical, it was, it was uh, a bit of a hill, there was, there was speed and you needed everything to, to win it. So we, uh, we showed our true, true power in, the, in a team's uh, team. I'm trial. Last year the team's movie star and Sky had finished within the same second. This year, without title holder Nairo Quintana and Alejandro Valverde, the Spanish team finishes 8th, 24 seconds behind the stage winners. Team Oritza Scott can be satisfied today. The team of Esteban Chavez and the Yates brothers finishes on rank 5. 17 seconds behind the untouchable team BMC. Tomorrow on Sunday the Vuelta stays in France. It goes through the region Occitania, along the shore of the Mediterranean Sea. No mountains, but the wind expected at 50 km an hour will have to be reckoned with. This should not prevent the sprinters to fight for the stage win at the seaside resort of Grissant. <laughs>